Good morning. Hello again. I'm so happy uh, to be here and I hope our friends uh, Asafa will join us soon and we will be able to start our today's lecture, the first lecture, and I hope it will be interesting for both of our parts. It's a really new subject, new discipline, not only in Georgia really, it's uh, in other countries as well, and mostly not only artificial intelligence, it's like an IT branch, but artificial intelligence in management, so in business context, so why it's important and why we have to be a beer in this field. So, so we're going to try our best, yes, it's a try beer, as we have already said, uh, to uh, speak about the importance and implication of this branch and all the discipline for management, for uh, company success. So, so today, as I have already said, we will have introductory class. Uh, we will see later and later, then we will penetrate the roots, we will try our best, yes. But first of all, maybe before I start lecturing, and I will try this as well, our slides, I hope so. I'm not speaking so fast, yes? Is it right? No, you can answer that. <laughs> okay. My name is not Safo. I don't know how can I change my name. My name is okay. Amir Parsa. Oh. Yeah, you can call me just Parsa, maybe. Parsa, that's right? Yeah. Okay, fine, Parsa. My name is Katie. <laughs> okay, fear. Of oh, course, you know, but maybe it's a fear, like from my side, to say some words about myself. Is it right? Who I am, what I want, and so on. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm just waking you up early in the morning. <laughs> okay. So, my name is Katie Lomnishvili, as you know, dear, and I will conduct the course of artificial intelligence in management. I'm really, uh, really happy and proud because, uh, as I have already said, this discipline at our university it's uh, like a, a quite new <laughs> yeah fresh we're gonna call it uh, and um, and at the same time artificial intelligence and management is like in georgia's for example if you consider the georgia's context it's not a long time we started to seek and uh, like utilizing it uh, in the management context but it's so important because all over the world uh, it, it's so important and uh, so many companies and mostly of course successful companies the sophisticated ones like google and facebook or the other they are already maybe even 100 percent yes based on the using and utilizing of artificial intelligence okay before i speak start speaking and, <laughs> and we will just try our best to introduce uh, this material uh, is, is, is uh, really uh, just penetrating the roots we're going to try is even from the first lecture. First of all, I will speak about myself, who I am, and so on and so on. And uh, dear uh, Parsina, I, I would like you to introduce as well as we are two together <laughs> today. So we have chance for that. Is it right? Yeah, sure. Okay, dear. Uh, so my name is Katie Lominishu. First of all, I will speak about my experience, maybe much more important what I'm just doing just now. It is like uh, at present, uh, what kind of occupations I have. Uh, it's for academic sphere. I conduct lectures at our university. Yeah, it's obvious. <laughs> okay, uh, at Georgia National University. I have another course as well. This is uh, innovations management, and uh, you know, dear, I'm really, really happy to have the course. Like uh, those courses are trying to understand what's happening now. Yes, at, at this moment, and what kind of future we will have. It's it's really interesting ones. At the same time, it's not really easy. Uh, it's quite challenging, uh, but I'm I'm. Really Really, uh, I just really strongly believe that as human being, uh, we have to try our best to, to be always like on the way of continuous development. I'm just always give the demand to myself this one. Okay, <laughs> by myself, I'm trying uh, to be involved in this process because it's inevitable. Yeah, is it right? Like. Uh, uh, Brian Tracy, and I'm sure that you know that he said, uh, every time we have the new situations, we have the new processes, and it's our obligation as a human beings to do really our, our best to be aware of what's happening around. Is it right? What do you think? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I'm just trying my best. Uh, sometimes I just hear from my colleagues, Kate, you have like a, a course, um, according to the title of this course, we can judge that it's not really easy one. And I'm saying, no, it's not easy, but it's it's very interesting, even maybe much more interesting than like a conventional ones, yeah? Is that right? Which we just maybe study for years and for centuries. Why not? We have to try our best. We have to make uh, like a new steps towards the future, because as we know that it's inevitable, for example, artificial intelligence once it will become inevitable part of our life, yeah? So uh, to be ready for that and to have much more awareness, what is it and how it works and how can we use it in our just the working context, organization context, I think it's really, really essential and important. 
Okay, so uh, about Xavier at this university, I conduct lectures at another university. I hope you hear about it, about this university. I mean, the, uh, the University of Georgia, they like a name, they're quite close to each other, is it right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Georgia National University and University of Georgia. Um, as, as for the University of Georgia, it's already a long time. I conduct lectures here, maybe approximately like uh, six or five years as a minimum. Uh, sometimes, you know, dear, I, I just don't want to speak about this, how, how, how much time already passed, yeah, I cannot believe, but anyway, I regard myself as a young, okay, I'm just listening to my students, don't consider me like a lecturer somewhere on the top of the mountain, no, because we are just <laughs> friends on the same surface, am I right? Yes, really, yes. frankly speaking, dear, I have the, uh, the such kind of, uh, let's say, um, perception and attitude, and I think that's right, so um, much more rather, I just uh, uh, prefer to, to, to be friends with my students and uh, fortunately things got it uh, it's like this for this period and I hope it will continue the same way okay but dear you know that I'm always see, uh, just thinking and I, I think as well today that uh, not only academic uh, let's say activities you have to have as a, as a lecturer because it's just only one field for me and another is my practical let's say involvement in business context uh, me, uh, I just maybe, it's already three years ago, we started our company in Georgia. It wasn't really easy to start uh, because I know that in Georgia's case, uh, unfortunately, we don't have really like a steady economic situation, is it right? And mostly nowadays because of coronavirus, because of these negative impacts. And at the same time, maybe you have also information and news uh, from our neighboring countries that they are in the war. And it also impacts very badly and very negative way on our countries economic and social independence and so on and so on yeah but anyway uh, notwithstanding what kind of context we have around i think it's our obligation again what i have already said to go forward and to try our best to try our best in the new field event so that's why uh, we started this business uh, so what it means it means that we became the partners like official partners one of the multinational corporations it's a german company maybe you know dear it's a code chemie uh, this is in automobiles industry, really interesting one. Uh, yeah, I'm just involved <laughs> with my head there. It's yeah, it's really different. It's really difficult, yeah, just to say directly, it's really difficult, but very challenging and very interesting at the same time. It's not only hard work, it's very interesting one. The same kind of situation, you know, dear, I have attitude, what I have for my subject, what I have for my courses. I'm just acquiring no knowledge. I see that I'm going ahead in my practical, let's say, fear, so I, I think it's really interesting. But it's not all. <laughs> May I continue? <laughs> it's not all what I'm just doing in my occupations. Uh, it was like my childhood dream dream uh, I wanted to have my startup uh, you know I, it's like in a hobby even nowadays um, to do some kind of lizard products like wallets and bags and so on and so on uh, so I just now I'm trying to convey it from hobby to business uh, I started like my startup I have as well but I have already said I'm making the lizard products I have my workshop and as soon as I find time I'm just rushing there and working day and night if I have of course time for that so it's another activity there, what I'm doing. And I have my Facebook page as well. I will share later. Uh, so, but unfortunately, not so active in the second field. I mean, in my startup, the name is Karawani, because uh, uh, I'm really in a rush because of my uh, courses. As I have already said, two universities, it's not really easy job. And every year, uh, the new things happening, new subjects they are just proposing. I'm just, uh, yeah accepting it and trying my best yes is that right so it's not easy but always as you can see here i'm trying to be motivated i'm always saying myself we have just one life and we have to be realized uh, of our full really 100 percent i'm really trying it trying it and i'm always saying to my students that uh, yes our life we have given uh, as a chance an opportunity which we have to use so with my life i'm also trying to use it so except this i have my like students as well like private ones so so I'm trying to be active in all the spheres. <laughs> 
Yeah, it's 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 really sometimes when I even see if you know the person the it's impossible. <laughs> sometimes I think how can I manage it? Yeah, really exactly. How can I manage it? But what I know the year, why I just speak so in details about myself. Uh, the same what about we're gonna speak today, artificial intelligence and management. Of course, it's new field, not only for Georgia, I can repeat it again, mm -hmm. but we have to start, is that right? We have to start somewhere. Uh, without start, we cannot achieve anything. Uh, you, you know, the I just today in the evening, in the morning, well, as I was just driving here with my car, I have always my, uh, let's say, uh, uh, the mobile on. Uh, I have some kind of really interesting records. For example, Brian Tracy's It's a Frog, maybe. Uh, I'm sure that you know that book is. It's an amazing book. Mm -hmm. And he's, yeah, <laughs> and he said, and I just liked it in the morning. It was a really great motivation for me. He said that, uh, first of all, when we want to accomplish something, it's not like this to perceive the whole project. Is it right? Like to know that what will be the result and what will be the end point. Sometimes it's impossible. We cannot see in advance what will be uh, at the end. Is it right there? But we can start in the little by little and gradually, step by step, we will see uh, the forward, like uh, when you're going somewhere at the night time. Yeah, is it right? At approximately 50 meters, you can see. Uh, you know, by the way, I live in Tsheta. Is it Tsheta? in a small town, a really historical one. You know this, yeah? Is that right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you can visit us. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, I know. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I love really this place, and um, mostly when you are going there from this uh, really rush situation, what's happening in Tbilisi, it's very complicated <laughs> here, really. So it's a much more quiet place, and you have really a uh, wonderful chance here to rest well at the end of the day. But my day finishes approximately at 9 and 10, <laughs> so it's night, <laughs> not day, even night, you know, already. Okay, so like this, dear, it's my occupations, what I'm doing, and so on and so on. If any questions, of course, with pleasure. And as for the education, another, this kind of uh, route <laughs> may be very complicated. I started um, as a specialist of uh, languages. But then I realized that it was not like uh, the field that I was uh, very fond of. Maybe and I changed. I changed the business and administration, business administration, and business field. I'm just continuing now because I realized maybe it's something I love most of all, and uh, I just want to concentrate on it and focus on it. And I'm sure, dear person, you remember from the um, what what said like uh, Frederick Wieslow Taylor. He was like called the father of the scientific management, and he said that if you would like to be successful, you have to specialize on something. Is it right there? What do you think? We have to be specialized, yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I saw that I, I started from language, then I just continued with the what I said, the business administration, and it's not all. <laughs> I went to Estonia. I led their Estonian diplomatic diplomatic academy for um, maybe not long time, but um, it was really really interesting experience for me. Then I came back. Again, I will continue. I have the degree in law as well. <laughs> so I just go in here and there, I tried myself every and every field to find what's really most important and not only important, you know, dear, like the most interesting for me, where I see myself, where I want to put all my efforts and my strengths and my power. So, uh, and I saw that maybe it's business administration is at the same time I was involved in practical uh, business, which I have already said, like I'm in a business context and I'm just working there as well. I have already said this, yes, is it right? So I decided maybe it's time already to concentrate on to just settle down <laughs> like this. So I just decided uh, to continue my studying. Um, and nowadays I'm a student as well. And you know, dear, I, I love to say that I'm a student. So I feel that I'm so young, <laughs> like an evergreen student, yeah. Okay, so uh, now I am a PhD student. I work on the topic uh, innovations and entrepreneurship. So it's quite close maybe to our work field so that's why I decided to accept this course and uh, to work on it uh, yeah it's really interesting it's really um, challenging uh, but uh, I hope that we can get really so much uh, valuable information for us to be much more successful in our fields and particularly in business context okay because uh, you know dear according to our title artificial intelligence in management not artificial intelligence like uh, only of course it's a field and a branch of the computer science but we will be concentrated on how to use in management 
okay dears so it means that i'm not teaching like a programming or something like this is not my field so we're gonna uh, speak and we're gonna consider this issue in the context of business administration in the context of organizations and i think and i hope it will be interesting for you i'm also saying to my students when you're choosing this pro direction yes business administration of course it's quite uh, understandable that um, we have to have the idea and desire and uh, really the direction to be some time, maybe in the future, but it's better to be <laughs> in the, uh, like uh, closest future to be like an active business uh, business people. Yes, is it right in, in some field uh, in the chosen one? So, and how to use your artificial intelligence is a context of our course. You know, dear persons, by the way, I have as well, like you, dear international students at the University of Georgia. Maybe you have friends here and <laughs> just <laughs> yeah. really. Uh, yeah. uh, Okay, and I conduct the courses for, and you know, by the way, what, what I just see now, I have much more, you know, much more many courses in, uh, like, for my inter international business students uh, uh, than for my Georgia students. <laughs> like, for for example, this moment at present, I have approximately, like, uh, 12 courses at UG, UG is at University of Georgia, uh, and from these 12 courses, um, I have more, more than the half I have for my international, uh, you know, frankly speaking not because that i have lecture now with you and that's why i'm just saying this uh, no I, I really like when i have international uh, courses because it gives me much more wider understanding because quite often we have kind of interaction and communication and uh, uh, this is uh, it's really interesting because i can get much more interesting information and acquire much more knowledge because i don't i you know dear i never perceive the lecture like katie's coming kind of lecture the coming and delivering the knowledge only it's not like this it's like a reciprocal process it's interaction and mostly when we will be involved together uh, yeah it will be much more perceptive okay uh where's the beer maybe it uh, took a, a little bit long time yes to introduce myself but i think for the first lecture it's anyway introductory course and we have to be aware of who we are and what we want from each other and uh, a little bit we also uh, just uh, touch our course yes so say some words okay maybe it's a beer now <laughs> to listen to you dear and please introduce yourself uh just um, some information uh, where are you from and what kind of interest you have what kind of uh, expectations you have for example from university from our course uh, and so on and so on and if you like like an active lectures which i'm just planning <laughs> and intending to propose listen to you dear uh, my name is Amir Parsa i'm from iran oh uh, i have so many students from iran yeah that's because i told like yeah, maybe i have some from some friends okay there. fine so <laughs> you know the word is uh, nowadays because of globalization interaction is so small <laughs> we are the acquaintance <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah that's right and Tbilisi is smaller <laughs> hey, absolutely everyone knows everyone really yes and nowadays i work in like in cryptocurrency mm -hmm. and just like this, yes. Nothing else. Nowadays, I'm mostly because of I don't know anything. Just this, yeah. Uh, it's half a year. It's a, um, it's a like a first year, second year for you in Georgia, no, it's or it's the first year. Oh, you. Uh, you know, dear, that I have an experience of <laughs> traveling in your country. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. I have been in five, let's say, cities, uh, like, uh, of course, the capital, Tabriz, um, and the others as well. I don't remember now the names exactly, but it was really wonderful experience for me. And I think you have really amazing country. Very interesting, you know, because of, of course, all of us know, yes, we have information about economic sanctions and something what's uh, unfortunate against Iran. Maybe that's why this country developed like uh, in an authentic way. Is it right? It's very different from the other countries, but very interesting. You know, when I came back, I'm always saying to my uh, my relatives and all the people, you have to go to this country. It's an amazing place and it's wonderful history, what you have and wonderful uh, monuments and so on and so on. Yeah, inter very interesting ones. I was really impressed when I came back. And I'm always saying that one time in our life, we have to go there. <laughs> I'm saying to my friends and to my students <laughs> quite often this about Iran. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I missed it too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, dear. Okay, nice to meet you, dear yeah. person. I, as I have already said, I'm always trying, to, and it's always like this. I'm very happy that like a friendship relationship we have with my students. 
Okay, so as we know each other, now it's time to speak about the course, let's say, uh, the body, what about we will be concentrated, what kind of lectures we will have. You know, parts and years won't be like this always, Katie will speak <laughs> so much, <laughs> yes, not to say maybe it's not like a bad to listen to me, but anyway, uh, I, I would like you to be much more involved and uh, much more interactions to have, yeah, is it right, dear, what do you think? Sorry, I couldn't answer. Uh, can you hear me well? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I would like to have like a much more interactive lectures uh, where my students will be as active as their lecturers. Is it right? Yeah, it's maybe yeah. much better. Uh, <laughs> like psychologists say, uh, yes, dear. Like high psychologists say, maybe it's like uh, um, after 30 minutes, uh, our brain becomes a little bit tired with listening to the same uh, like person. So I don't want to. <laughs> Okay, dear. But anyway, so, but it will be from the second lecture much more because we will have as well the seminars and we will have different activities. So I will speak about this now. Yeah, it's time already to speak about this. So what kind of body, what kind of structure uh, in our course we have, we will have. Uh, first of all, of course, lecturing dear. Like today, I will introduce now, I will share our today's slides and we will start speaking about artificial intelligence and its meaning for us in the business context. Okay, but uh, what kind of structure we will have at the whole, uh, let's say, um, the course? As I can see, our friend join us. Oh, fine, Guka, hello, dear. Hello. Hello, good morning. Good morning. We are so happy that you join us as we're seeing that like a dialogue we had before. <laughs> yeah, it came this way. So we're happy that you are here. Uh, good morning, good morning. How are you? I'm fine. I'm doing fine. fine. How are you? Fine, thank you. Maybe a little bit difficult, yes, to wake up early in the morning, uh, but but it's yep, anyway. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, I understand. But you know, guys, maybe I I, I haven't said this uh, person here. Uh, it's an unusual situation here where I am because uh, I'm just alone at university. It's the first time I've conducted lectures this way uh, without students <laughs> and <laughs> online classes. <laughs> yeah, I just asked them what's their sense of uh, having the lectures at university when you do not have the students there yeah but uh, but they said that it's like uh, yeah they decided this way so we're just in this case it's uh, the same kind of like internal rule we had no other way we had no way yeah okay but anyway uh, me and parts of we were speaking about this any kind of let's say experience is uh, really uh, crucial and um, I think valuable, <laughs> even such kind of unusual experience. And most of them speak, speak about the artificial intelligence and so on, it's a new field. Uh, Guka dear, uh, I'm so sorry, maybe it's not all, all the time for that again to introduce myself. I just <laughs> already spoken about myself a little bit longer even, <laughs> me in person. So, but I hope you have some kind of information uh, about me. Uh, you know, sometimes I'm saying that uh, it's Students have much more information about lecture than the lecture about herself. <laughs> yeah, what I see. <laughs> okay, so I hope that you have. But the most important years, I just now was speaking about the structure of our course, not only the lecture. Um, we won't have only lectures like uh, the catch is speaking all the time. It's really tiring. <laughs> I was saying that parts of notwithstanding, maybe you like it or not. Yeah, like psychologists say, after 30 minutes, our brain becomes so really uh, tired. So we, we need some kind of recharge. So that's why you will be involved, I'm sure. And we will have uh, kind of interaction. And uh, uh, from your side, I will await from the next lecture already the questions and the comments and so on and so on. So the years, except lectures, of course, I will introduce new material. Yes, I'm going to um, just speak about the new really stuff, but I hope it will be interesting for you. But except this, we will have not only lectures, um, video lectures, so-called. It's already um, some kind of, uh, for my students, they, they really adore and love it. <laughs> and not only Kathy speaking, but maybe very successful entrepreneurs and uh, these the people uh, successful in this field, uh, what, I'm, what we are just, uh, let's say introducing so we will have that and then except video lectures except lectures uh, we will have so-called cases business cases uh, is um, unfortunately yes we don't have here the kind of situation where we can put into practice yes is that right so that's why uh, to use uh, really interesting business cases uh, which i have already got <laughs> so it will be interesting for you i hope so like this and except these discussions Oh, yeah, uh, dears, if you have uh, like uh, comments, questions. Good morning. Somebody. Good morning. Uh, hello. How are you? I'm good. I don't, happen to, I don't know what happened to your speakers. I don't know what, what you are saying. And I'm trying to join 
this lecture from oh. the saying, but it's not possible for me. I don't know why. Okay, so we have to ask our IT or our administration to help us. Okay, dear. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh, so, uh, and uh, what, I, what I wanted to say with that, what I have already said, we will have like um, difficult, different, different activities um, during our classes, not only like lecturing and not only speaking from Katie's side. So I hope it will be interesting for you. Uh, as for, uh, okay, dears, if it's possible, please, uh, can, you, can, can, you, can you mute it? It's better maybe when I'm speaking uh, a little bit complicated too. Okay, if you can uh, turn off your microphones and when you will have comments or questions, you can turn it on. Okay, dears, or I will use my... <laughs> my... Sorry, uh, please, I cannot hear you clearly. Maybe your speaker or something, I don't understand. Uh, okay, so I will mute from here then, dear, okay? If you give me permission, I will mute from here. Just a minute. Okay. Okay, maybe it's better. So when you have the question, of course, it's not like a okay, it's a cat is a lecture, it's your lecture, and we are like service providers, is it right? So it's uh, uh, we, we have to we have to deliver as quality service as possible. So it means dear that uh, anytime your questions, your comments will be uh, much more than acceptable for me. Okay, as for the materials, now I will share the materials. So so what it means? So for each lecture, we will have so-called slides uh, where I have put all the new information, but it's not enough. <laughs> I have to say, sometimes my students are asking, can he, uh, on the slides, from slides, we have to study, is that enough for us? And I'm also saying it's not enough, dears. Uh, it's for me, okay, I will share, maybe it's better now to have on our screens, just a minute, dears, I will share from here. So as for the slides, of course, it's like a, a really important materials from our, uh, let's say, basic literature, <laughs> but it's not only uh, the parts of the materials you have to study, you have to read. So I'm always asking my students, my dears, don't regard my slides as literature. You know, there sometimes I have the questions, can he, uh, your your, we have to study from your literature? And I'm all saying that I'm so sorry, but I'm not the author of the book or something like that. So I cannot regard it as a literature. Uh, so it's just uh, maybe a good material for revising and repeating the the, uh, the ones you have read already in the book. So please uh, don't use uh, directly for studying. Uh, as for the uh, as for the stuff where I will upload it, as I know, I have to upload it uh, maybe on our um, uh, site like uh, COEDG, or, or I will ask our administration, and of course I will deliver and I will deliver all this, all this material, it's not on the slides. As I have already said, we have so-called video lectures as well. So dears, I will try my best to equip you with all the necessary stuff, what's necessary for us. Uh, today, unfortunately, we do not have the case, but for our seminars, every time we will have the cases as well. Yeah. Okay, now I will ask you the question. What do you think about the structure of our course? It will be interesting for you. So lectures plus video lectures, plus cases, plus discussion. So if you have any kind of suggestion, please always feel free. I'm always saying to my students that it's not like a kitty is ruling or something, it's, it's, it's nonsense. It's a reciprocal process, what I have already said. So I will be really happy. Uh, and I'm always saying it's, it's not really dear something. I'm just coming here and introdu introducing the uh, materials and conduct the lecture and that's all. It's not for me like this. I, I'm always perceiving all the lectures, each lecture even, as a really wonderful opportunity, the chance to increase myself, to enhance my skills and improve my skills and really uh, increase myself as a professional so help me as well and i will try my best from my side okay let's ask guka guka dear um what do you think about the structure of the course will it be interesting for you lectures video lectures with new cases discussions and so on maybe the other new information we will we will have as well first of all your english is perfect <laughs> i adore it <laughs> Yeah, and you're just yes, as a Georgian, yes, as a Georgian, you're yeah. just evaluating. <laughs> okay, sure. thank you, thank you. Dear. And second of all, uh, I'm good with all the things because oh, I like God. being active and I like being kind of doing everything. So it's okay. cool for me. Okay, fine. I'm very happy. I'm very happy for that. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much for uh, this kind of motivation. I'm gonna call because I, I love really, you know, the air motivation. <laughs> I hate I was... to say, it. I didn't have any choice. 
<laughs> okay, thank you. I was just saying to persons like every morning uh, when I wake up, immediately I'm turning on my motivational videos to just motivate me because my, my work really requires it for me to be motivated, to motivate the others. Is that right? Uh, it's impossible in other way, like a lecturer who is like sleepy. <laughs> yeah, the students are going to be the same way. Is it right? Yeah, <laughs> so, <for sure. laughs> so we have to try our best. Or it's not only really trying, frankly speaking, it's like uh, my nature, really. I'm very active <laughs> all the time. Uh, of course, uh, <laughs> except the time of the rest, yeah. Uh, so, dear, now let's start. I would like to start with the, the words. Yeah, we have already started, but uh, just um, the uh, much more theoretical part. Uh, I would like to say the words uh, from Elon Musk, <laughs> I think really interesting ones. So what he said, now let's pay attention. Frankly speaking, I was a little bit afraid, <laughs> scared when, when I just, uh, I was listening to his videos, of course, um, the years when I'm preparing the materials, uh, I would like to deliver information uh, as well about this. I'm not only taking information from our books, so-called basic ones, because I don't think that it's right. I'm just trying to gather all the information from video lectures of successful people like Elon Musk, it will be or uh, Mark Zuckerberg or like Mark Cuban and the others, really interesting people, yes, in, in this field. And I'm trying to get information from them and to share it and to just put in our course to make it much more interesting. Okay, and what else? Uh, also, I would like uh, as well, and I will share really interesting articles about artificial intelligence, mostly from uh, HBR, what is it, Harvard Business Review. It's amazing articles. Uh, and we just have a chance to update our knowledge and to see what's happening now and on, on temporary basis is uh, what kind of news and so on so on we have it's really interesting i'm reading <laughs> just i'm saying that i'm gonna oblige you sometimes it comes this way that you have to read also this one okay um, and what elon musk said uh, i was listening what i said already a little bit scared danger of artificial intelligence is much greater than the danger of nuclear wars it's his word uh, so, you know, all the time, maybe when we speak about, when we think about like a global way, yes, and think about the, some kind of danger we will face, maybe in the future we will face, it's like a nuclear war it comes to our minds. But when, uh, when I hear these words from Elon Musk, not, not nuclear war, but the artificial intelligence, maybe it's not like a, <laughs> a good choice to start with this word. But anyway, dears, I have already said maybe two parts, and I would like to say to you, all of you dears, that I will be very sincere. Um, not, not, not because for our lectures. I'm just like like this. I cannot like uh, being like this. And think about another thing. That can speak about absolutely different thing. And like like this, I'm just uh, speaking what I think aside. So um, uh, as I just got information about this, I just wanted to share with you. But not because to. Um, put you in a, like awkward situation. No, of course, uh, it's maybe the future um, development of the artificial intelligence, but nowadays, yeah, what we have to concentrate on, nowadays we can see that artificial intelligence is gonna be in really great service of business uh, and we can use, and we have to use in business contracts, uh, context, which is really so important. Uh, but what will be in the future? Maybe the years, uh, I, I'm sure that you have in the film of Matrix, is it right? And uh, there is also the, uh, given the information about artificial intelligence when he's saying that about in the future, AI, it will be like against humans. And uh, Elon Musk was speaking about the same thing, but I don't know, maybe it's after 10, 20, 30 years, uh, as they are predicting. Uh, yeah, I don't have information about this, even they don't have, no one knows really what will be after 10, 10 or 20 and so years. But Nowadays, what's quite obvious, uh, we can use artificial intelligence for uh, making it easier our work, and uh, even sometimes it replacing the human human uh, service and human really uh, resources. Uh, and uh, but you know the, what comes to my mind, I would like to share it with you. It was the 19th and the 19th and the, um, the 18th century. Yes, I mean the Industrial Revolution when the people were against uh, uh, all the like uh, equipment and uh, all the development of technologies, and even they were making the strikes and so on and so on uh, but dear it's what, what from this from today's point of view from today's standpoint uh, when we think about the history yes what happened before about this i mean the beginnings of the industrial revolution of course no no uh, from their side yeah okay they were against of development because they were just uh, perceiving these technologies like arrivals like a competitors but as we can see uh, they could not win i mean the human protest so it comes that uh, we are the part 
part of the globalization, like we are the part of the interaction. Uh, the same kind of uh, approach I think we have to have. It comes anyway, and it becomes really a part of, an inevitable part of our life. And from our side, just to say that, no, it's not for me, I don't want, I'm scared. I'm uh, just thinking that it will be uh, against humor brain. And even, you know, the years I world champion of Gary Kasparov was defeated, yes, by the, uh, this program, artificial intelligence and many other really, really like a, um, uh, most maybe clever uh, human beings uh, of, of, of the main kind. But anyway, uh, I don't care. I cannot really see the sense they are to, to be against artificial intelligence. I think that maybe the solution of the situation is how to use them for our uh, like the service, how to use them in business context, how to make it uh, really uh, sometimes as uh, like uh, the assistance of our work to make it easier, to make it uh, much more lighter for us. I perceive this way, it's just my perception, individual one. No one really knows, like Elon Musk said, and maybe and even he gave up the percentage, like uh, it's uh, as minimum as a five or 10% that in the future, in the nearest future, artificial intelligence won't be against, won't be against the human, uh, human, humans and mankind. But absolutely different attitude we can uh, hear from the other really clever people, like even Gary Kasparov, one of the world champion in chess, as who, by the way, defeated <laughs> from this program, this artificial intelligence program. And what he said, I'm gonna read it. Don't fear intelligence machines. Don't fear, don't be feared with intelligent machines and work with them. So he's not like looking uh, the future the same way as Elon Musk. He's just uh, trying to show us that we can use them uh, to make it easier and to, to make our life easier and uh, really even interesting, yes, to, to use. He's this. just trying to beat all the robots. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so, but, uh, but from his side, maybe he was definitely, that's why he's saying this, yes? What do you think, Guka? Is it right? So he has yet no other way, yeah? It counts. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> okay. Uh, but dear, maybe for anything, as I have already said, it's not easy nowadays to make a prediction for the future and um, notwithstanding what kind of information you have. Of course, I, I was trying, I'm always saying to my students that I'm not really ashamed in, um, vice versa, I'm just thinking that it's right to be this way. The whole week, I'm trying to get good information about the artificial intelligence, it will be on the other courses when I know that I have the lecture. I think it's like a responsibility for me and wonderful, <laughs> amazing with the responsibility that I love to take. Uh, to get information, but notwithstanding what kind of information you are equipped, you know, it's really difficult to think about the future and uh, to have like very um, good understanding what will be exactly. It's impossible to have already said, uh, not, not even not even this so uh, kind of really very, very clever people like Elon Musk, yes, like the father of human artificial intelligence, and you know that he's working on his chips. And um, just recently I read the article, he said that uh, we have already tested and it's, it works works and maybe soon we will start uh, installing all the chips on human's brain. Uh, I don't know, a little bit maybe <laughs> not so pleasant information. What do you think about this? Okay, person, Guka, what do you think about the chips? And which will be you be scared of that? <laughs> scared <laughs> of the chips in the human brain? Maybe uh, Gary Kasparov can beat the Elon Musk too. <laughs> Okay, okay. Because, um, yeah, I don't think that's, that's kind of a good idea. It's way, way far away in front of today's mindset of people. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, maybe it will be acceptable in, like, 20 years, you know? I don't know. Yeah, uh, Guka, dear, thank you so much. I'm going to ask the same question to our friends. Person, if you can hear me, dear, what do you think about the, for example, chip installing in the human brains? And uh, it, it's uh, for you, for example, individual, if you can be so open, it's acceptable for you. It's uh, like a, uh, <laughs> good for us, for humankind, or uh, you are um, maybe like in other people, uh, not uh, a little bit even skeptical towards this. What do you think about this? Um, I don't know. Maybe. Um, I'm not you. No, no, it's not. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, your voices come so from from far far away. I cannot catch the words. If you can, please repeat the words. What you said. Yeah, it's like somehow it's good and somehow it's not good. maybe. Yeah. I don't have any idea. Okay. Okay, okay. I, I hope I I just. <laughs> yeah, there is an internal problem. 
Okay, it's happening here. Okay. Okay, guys, I'm sorry, we have a little bit of a problem as it seems. Unfortunately, I cannot hear your voice well. Yeah, <laughs> some problems. So that's why the online classes is not always like a right, right choice, yes, maybe, but sometimes when you have no other choice, we have to try this, yeah, as a try. Uh, okay, dears, uh, now let's speak about the course itself, um, what, what we just uh, introduced, we have maybe some words already said, but anyway, the course provides a basic introduction to artificial intelligence. Uh, dears, for the others who join us a little bit later, maybe I want to say that it's not the course of let's say IT, I mean the uh, uh, information technologies. So of course I'm not like uh, teaching the programming or something like this. I'm concentrating on how to use artificial intelligence in management. And I just give the examples and the, the cases I will share and so on, so on uh, to make it easier and to just give us the notion that to think about using artificial intelligence in our management, for example, in our companies. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know this information I don't have yeah, except personal, because about you, are you uh, employed or not, or something like this. But for the future, yes, for your companies, so of course, all of us who is just going to the direction of the business administration, we have to have the idea to have our own businesses and private ones. Why not? We have to have this. Okay, so it will be like an introductory part. It focuses on understanding what artificial intelligence is and what it means in business context. Uh, so there's now again, I will share, as, as I can see, we have some kind of uh, yes, messages here, please, uh, with your speaker. Can, can't hear you. Oh, guys, um, but here's, uh, here's uh, Yeah, it's okay now, it's okay. I can hear you clearly now. Can you hear me, Emmanuel? Can you hear me? Yeah, 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 I can hear you clearly now. Okay, okay. Hello, dear, hello, dear. Uh, <laughs> again, I'm very happy that you joined us. Uh, yeah, it's also, we will be like, and that is the whole country, yeah? <laughs> okay, yeah, just kidding. <laughs> No okay, <laughs> kidding, kidding. Okay, now let's go back to our slides. Uh, and uh, as you can see, I just uh, tried my best to gather the information as much as possible. So artificial intelligence, um, you know, dear, as for the definition, we have so many definitions, approximately what I could <laughs> get. It was like a, uh, 100, approximately, can you imagine, 100 definition of artificial intelligence. But I think that I will propose the most simpler and most understandable ones. Just for example, artificial intelligence is a branch, is a field of uh, uh, this field of information technologies, which is trying to simulate the processes of human uh, brain and use it for uh, the so-called intelligent machines. And it aims at creating intelligent machines, which works like a human brain. So, you know, there's sometimes, uh, <laughs> not sometimes quite often when I'm just working on the topic and I'm preparing for you, uh, such an idea comes to me. So it, it, somehow maybe the human, human, the humans and human, uh, it is mankind, we are just against ourselves <laughs> it just it just is a question uh, maybe not relevant here is yes, for the lecture of artificial intelligence but anyway i have already promised that i will be very sincere i will be very direct and what i will think i will just say immediately i think it's going to be much better okay in another definition of artificial intelligence is a simulation of the processes of human intelligence by machines particularly computer systems intelligent machines that react and work like human beings and the human intelligence processes that artificial intelligence simulates are learning, reasoning, self-correction, uh, and, uh, and etc. You know, according to the scientists, of course, who are much more aware uh, in artificial intelligence, they say that we have so-called two types of the artificial intelligence, mostly the ranges of this one. The first one is a so-called weak artificial intelligence. The second one is a strong artificial intelligence. And as they say, according to their information, we are nowadays on the era of weak artificial intelligence. So what it means, it means that it's not so sophisticated one as it's uh, like, a, as it's maybe uh, in the future, it will be when we will have strong artificial intelligence. And maybe this kind of strong artificial intelligence, something which maybe will replace uh, the human being. So we're trying to replace ourselves. Is it right? That's why I'm saying that. <laughs> Is it reasonable? <laughs> it's just okay. That, yeah, again, I'm saying that it's unusual from the lecture, but why not? We have to be sincere. Yet we have to think, uh, and we have to say directly what about we think. Okay, let's continue. Uh, as you can see, uh, yes, we have different colors here. Yes, to, to be much more easier to understand and much more perceptive the information. Okay, artificial intelligence is a methodology of using uh, non-human systems to learn from experience and imitate human intelligence behavior. So uh, the most important here, we know that the, our brain is a so sophisticated one and even uh, not uh, even learned well, yes, even nowadays in the era of 
technologies and so on and so on. So that's why they are trying to somehow repeat it by means of artificial intelligence. But as we have already said, we are uh, like in you know, the era of the weak artificial intelligence, which is not so 100% of course replace of human of humans. Yes, but like in, in, the, in the movie Matrix, uh, there is a said that maybe in the future we will be replaced at all by artificial intelligence. Oh my goodness, I hope we won't be replaced and uh, mostly we will use it. That's why, uh, and this is the intention of our course as well, yes, how to use artificial intelligence in management, how to use artificial intelligence in business context, and not how to be replaced by artificial intelligence. Is that right? So we're going to concentrate on the first, how to use it, not how to be replaced with it. Okay. No. <laughs> Okay, yeah. What do you think, dears? We don't. We want to. Yeah, maybe it's not. It's like illogical. Yes, we don't have desire to be replaced, but we have desire to use it. Is it right, Emmanuel? Kuka. Okay. Yeah, for sure. It's it's cool to kind of use it and develop some new things. But as you said, if we are kind of on the low part of the artificial intelligence, maybe the high end part will be kind of a learning course for us because if the artificial intelligence goes far away from us and we kind of, it will be much more smarter than us. Maybe we can learn some things and maybe we can use more percent of our brain. Mm -hmm. So we definitely can use it to make ourselves better. Uh, yes, dear, you're right. You're right. Thank you so much for an interesting comment. Uh, so we were saying that we will just start an interaction during our seminars, but I'm so happy that even for the first lecture, we are already so active on the friends, I presume this way. The, so, and thank you so much. Thank you for that uh, interaction. Okay, let's continue. Working uh, artificial intelligence has supported the development of driverless cars. For example, the, you know, just to give the example, yes, of Elon Musk, we have already mentioned him, and uh, this Tesla and and, uh, and his other projects, uh, space space projects and uh, driverless cars. Uh, he's already the um, maybe the uh, making the steady fundament for a, a maybe strong artificial intelligence for the for the for the future. Also, house cleaning robots. By the way, frankly speaking, I will be very direct. Uh, sometimes I'm thinking about this <laughs> to have this house cleaning <laughs> robot. So good for <laughs> yes, at home. So it's an, another the usage is utilizing what what we are just saying about the uh, utilizing in business artificial intelligence. So uh, it will be really very helpful, <laughs> yes, and mostly for ladies. Uh, okay, dears. Also, systems have defeated the world chess champion, which we have already said, yes, Gary Kasparov was defeated by this program. And I know a really interesting video, which I got about this when he's just explaining his attitudes and feelings. And when he was defeated, and he's just saying that it was devastating for me, uh, the man who was a champion, who was the first uh, in this chess, like uh, in this field, and uh, once by computer program. Program is a definite, yeah, it's, it's not really maybe pleasant, but but anyway, maybe that's why he said that it's inevitable. So if it's inevitable, we have to accept it, like the globalization, integrate, integration, interaction, maybe it's, it's like a tsunami, it comes at, uh, um, if, if you just will be against or just say that, no, I, I'm just against of it and I don't want to be, it's maybe impossible. Anyway, it's inevitable. It's the same as what we have already said about industrial revolution, which started some centuries ago, but no one could uh, maybe resist it. Yeah, is it right? No one could go against it. So uh, the same kind of situation I see for artificial intelligence. It's why years I just uh, took this responsibility to, to, to conduct this course. By the way, it's a new course and I'm very happy. Uh, so uh, we have to get the challenges. Yes, the artificial intelligence is the same kind of challenge for the humankind, for the uh, for businesses as well. Uh, if you just consider the situation in Georgia's level, according to the, uh, the development program of the 2016, 2020, Unfortunately, in development program of the Georgian government for Georgia, uh, is the acquiring this using the so-called um, information technologies in business is quite the level of this is quite low. In other countries, of course, much higher. For the developing countries, development development countries is developed countries much higher. For the developing countries, as Georgia is a developing country, we are just uh, maybe making the first steps toward this direction. And even the courses are quite new. Uh, it's a fresh fresh course, and I'm so so happy the years that we are now together. And just we are you know the making the history in this term. The, French course that I have already said the first course. We are just, uh, it's a, it's a, even in the testing regime, uh, but uh, but interesting one, like inter artificial intelligence itself, yes, to test yourself in the field, which is not like uh, known for you. Just for example, the years in the, uh, maybe it was some years ago, um, 
like five or six, maybe much more, uh, many more, <laughs> more, more years ago, I just graduated from university. And uh, um, to say directly, artificial intelligence, even they have not mentioned there, unfortunately. Uh, but nowadays, it's already part of our courses here. So what is the sign? The sign is the development the process which we have and with the process of the inevitable situations, what we will have in the future. So if it comes like a globalization, like an interaction, we have to take responsibility to be aware, first of all, what is it? And after that, how to use it? This is a uh, this is the most important, let's say, objective and aim of our course, how to use it, how to use it in our management system, how to uh, make it uh, easier uh, to run the companies, to run the businesses and so on. This is our aim. So it's like uh, the future will show how we meet our expectations, but uh, uh, I'm always saying uh, to myself, uh, I, I love uh, Brian Tracy's work. And uh, he said uh, one of in one of his books that, Desire is the most important when you start something. So when we have desire, nothing is impossible. I, I'm always thinking, and I'm just always repeating to myself that nothing is impossible literal years when you have desire to do something well. Okay, let's continue. Artificial intelligence is redefining the nature of principles of general management. Uh, to mention why, just to expand yes, what we have given here on, the, on our slides. Uh, nowadays, artificial intelligence is already used for, for example, strategic planning, marketing, for customers' relations, uh, and uh, for, uh, for, of course, research and search and surveys and so on. So it's something really makes it easier for the companies to run the business as well, to get you success, to maintain, and to have the competitive advantage. And you know there's competitive advantage is something when you are just different from your rivals and competitors is maybe the something is a quality uh, the design of your product is uh, the way you're just delivering your product is it right it's something you're trying to be different to be the best and to be the best from the others yes to be the best in your fair in your industry it's really it's not really easy uh, but i'm always repeating to my students of course dears i'm sure that you are aware of it we have to try every time every day it's going to be like a, a non-stoppable really process to try to become better and better better and better. Uh, I, I remember some years ago, one of my friends, she's asking me, you know, Katie, uh, you, yeah, I just gave information to her that, you know, that year I'm so, I'm so like happy. I'm starting lecturing uh, for my international students and notwithstanding it's not my native language, but I'm going to be reading something like, oh, okay, I'm just telling the, uh, the, the stories of the years ago, what happened. And she's telling me, you know, Katie, it's not right that you are not like a native speaker, you're Georgian and that you are going there in the context lectures for the native speakers or something like this yes of course it, it was really difficult the first steps yeah is it right yeah i know that i'm not a native speaker but i just worked on myself so hard to first of all improve my skills improve my skills and fluency of the language and so on and so on i and you know dear why i'm sharing this not because i'm just boosting in a something like this no no of course and uh, i'm just sharing because this same attitude i have towards for example in, um, this uh, artificial intelligence yes uh we when, when we are born uh we had no idea about the subject and courses and is it right so all the time we are developing all the time we are going to the next step and the next level and then next level and so on so it's like what i have already said twice in the areas it's like when you're going uh, when you're driving uh, at night and you can see only approximately the so the 50 meters ahead and then uh, 50 meters and the same kind of situation so that's why i think that uh, we have to maybe artificial intelligence nowadays it's um, one of the difficult thing for us let's say directly because it's uh, quite new, not only for us, what I have already said, no one knows what will be the future, only just the predictions they can make, yes, only some kind of judgments and discussions they can give us, that's all, even Elon Musk, which I just listening, yes, that is the old days so of all night, to them. and the others as well, and of course it's uh, at the same time, much more, same time, much more even difficult for us, for, for the other people, yes, which are not like, a, uh, let's say, creators of artificial intelligence, is it right, to be aware of it, but anyway, it's our obligation, to my mind, not, not because I'm a lecturer and it's my course and I'm going to conduct this course. It's our obligation as a human beings when we know that for the future and even nowadays some companies, some people use it and they use it very successful way, for example, for the companies to gain competitive advantage and um, to have and to maintain this. So why not if you want to be active, if you want to be on the market and not to be driven out from the market, we have to be aware as well. I'm always saying I just, uh, it's just like an, you know, there's maybe like an internal thoughts, what I have, I'm just sharing now with you. Okay, let's continue. Uh, as I have already said, it's anyway introductory part, so we are just speaking about everything, then we'll try much more to penetrate uh, and concentrate on the like particular and specific issues. 
Okay, the adoption of artificial intelligence technologies is widely expanding in our society. Application of artificial intelligence in tech fields, what we have already said, like self-driving, driverless cars, we have already mentioned, yes, is that right? The personal assistance and uh, surveillance systems and robotic manufacturing and the machine translation and financial services and cybersecurity and web search. You know, dear, even I want to share one interesting information. Recently, I was reading the article about Japan and you know that Japan is one of the really, one of the uh, maybe first in this term in this field of artificial intelligence and uh, they have already created the robot which they can use as a teachers can you imagine as a teachers but not for the universities yet but for the schools uh, for the school uh, children like for the first grades first and second and third and there was also given the comments from the children and the children were saying that we are so happy that we have the robot teachers like this and i was saying to my students when i share this information so soon maybe some robots will come here and you will be happy to have the robot teacher okay. no hard feelings right <laughs> Okay, um, but uh, no one knows really what will be. Maybe, maybe it will be like for Japanese students they have already. For the future, it will be. Not, now let's ask a question. Okay, it's my profession. Yes, I just earn uh, uh, my income on the basis of this lecturing. Okay, I have another field of businesses, but anyway. So what I have to say, I have to be like an against, I have to be like a resisting, I have to be like, uh, oh my God, and I don't, it's inevitable. It, it, if it comes, so it will replace the situation, it will replace even us. So that's why we, uh, why I'm just telling now, dear, in this case, that's why very often when I'm reading the articles about future predictions and what will be there, uh, there is always one thing, so many professions won't be in the future, so many professions, just for example, financiers like human resource manager and so on, the others as well. But it does not mean that we have to raise it even, for example, even lectures, yes, some kind of machine will come uh, and maybe they will be also equipped with uh, human kind of emotions. So you will get emotions and knowledge as well. <laughs> like the human is uh, just conveying, yeah, is it right here? So delivering, I don't know what will be, but I know one thing, and I just want to share there is this one. We cannot resist because it comes as a globalization. Again, I will repeat it. It comes as a tsunami. So if you resist, um, it has no, to my mind, it's, no, it's, it's not like a reasonable, and we won't have any kind of consequences on the I think this way. Yeah, so that's why if we have no other way, it's better to be much more better every year. What is it and how to use for yourself if we will have chance to use for ourselves. It won't be against of mankind, what we have already said. Okay, it's just a future things maybe, but anyway, we have to mention it yeah, during our classes as well. Okay, dear, let's continue. Artificial intelligence or AI, it's like an abbreviation as we have already said, is a unique branch of computer science which aims at solely at creating creating intelligent machines. So here I have given, do you remember these? I have already said approximately like a, uh, 70 uh, and even 100 definitions we have. And I tried my best, so many definitions to put here. So you can just remember any of them you would like because all of them, of course, they are just right. And in a different way from like a different angles, uh, they are just, um, uh, they are just perceiving this artificial intelligence, but all of them, they are right. So you can remember any of them. Uh, so, which is from the World Economic Forum, and I think it's really interesting for you. Uh, for example, the mechanism shows that artificial intelligence will increasingly disrupt what we do and uh, who does it and how all work is done, human versus machines. Yeah, what we have already said, so I don't concentrate on it anymore. <laughs> we feel it, we already will be afraid. Yeah. Artificial intelligence in business is a breakthrough that can enable good managers to be great. So, maybe this is a field that we, are, we want to be concentrated on how to use for us, how to use it to be great and how to make our life easier, the business life easier in this context, is it right? And not complicated, not uh, difficult and so on. So the applications of artificial intelligence and in businesses are many from improving relationship with employees, what we have already said, like a marketing research to conduct, like co consumer and customer relationships to have much more sophisticated and uh, so much more individual, yes, is it right? So we have to use for that reason, not to, <laughs> not to like uh, destroy our Sell this. Okay, let's continue. And here I have, I think, uh, really interesting data, and I would like to share before we start. And as I can see, really, time is really flying. Yesterday, one of my students is saying that, Katie, I cannot really understand how time is going. It's like in maybe the hour, like a minute. Yeah, it's the same for me when I'm just conducting lectures. It, it goes so fast that I cannot even understand what's happening. But I just want the ears if you aren't against and if you're a little bit time, a little longer. Okay, let's 
continue and after some minutes i will finish <clears throat> i just want to give so, really I'm sorry. how many hours do you have for this lecture uh emmanuel your voice is coming so so from okay let's let's message okay in our chat because i cannot hear your voice well maybe then again the problem Okay. I said, how many hours do you have for this lecture? Okay, uh, now I could. Uh, lecture is um, like an officially what they are saying uh, from administration. It's like a 50 minutes. Uh, yeah, I know that I have already <laughs> conducted more than 50 minutes. So that's why I'm yeah. asking. Yes, dear, if you have time, like a more maximum 10 minutes, uh, I just want to some key issues to speak and concentrate. Okay, dear, if you have time. And after that, I will say goodbye. Okay. Or okay. if I'm just, uh, yeah, if I'm just panicking your time of course we will just finish now but uh, i want to concentrate on some interesting issues but officially we have 50 minutes for lecture and another 50 minutes for seminar so two seminars we will have for the next lecture and i will have time plenty of time to speak as much as possible is that right emmanuel <laughs> okay right, so, right. okay so today like give you a present this yes, is 10 minutes <laughs> okay, okay. Dear. so okay thank you thank you dear in a recent 2018 survey among fortune um uh, thousand for example sea level executive decision makers and overwhelming and I would like you dear to pay attention to this one it's really interesting information 97.2 percent of executives reported that their companies we are investing in launching big data and artificial intelligence initiatives among those executives a consensus was emerging that artificial intelligence and big data projects we are becoming closely intertwined and 76.5 percent of executives indicated that the growth and greater availability of data was empowering artificial intelligence and cognitive initiatives and why I'm just concentrating on it now, why I would like to you to pay attention to this. Uh, you know that this Fortune Global 500 or 1000, they are the companies, most successful ones is. So man, uh, to my mind, not only to my mind, it's like maybe the acceptable way of attitude. We have to take the good examples from very successful ones. Like we have to take good examples of successful people to, to make ourselves successful as well, is it right? The same, we have to take examples from really, um, really uh, the companies which are uh, already ahead of us, like Fortune 500 or Fortune 1000. So dear, look at this. If they are saying that we have to be concentrated, we have to be really focused on artificial intelligence and they are even launching millions and billions uh, and spending millions and billions of dollars on it so it's maybe one of the indicators that we as a minimum be interested in artificial intelligence and after that after interesting so we have to after inter being interested we have to uh, try to use it for our uh, just the businesses and uh, the management to make it sophisticated to make it easier to make it successful and so on it's just a sign uh, I hope for you as well so and we, in which spheres it's already used as you know, it's a retail, it's a fashion, it's a financial services. We have worked it in marketing and in HR. So, so many fields already, so many fields they have already acquired artificial intelligence and are using so active way, like manufacturing, for example, yes. Um, just in my case, I'm wearing the glass and I'm just uh, planning and um, I'm intending to make an operation, to do an operation. Uh, yeah. So, and uh, why I'm just saying this example now, I'm I'm saying this case now. Uh, so you know that this is um, the laser operation, which is done not by human beings, not by the so-called doctors, but by artificial intelligence from the beginning to the end. And uh, as they said to me when I was in the consultation, as they said to me, it takes only like a uh, maximum, like five minutes. Can you imagine five minutes? And after five minutes, I will have uh, this uh, wonderful eyesight without any glasses. <laughs> You're doing the, the laser one? Uh, yes, yes, yes. I'm just so... playing. You have a minus and you want to go to zero. Yeah, that's right. I have minus because all the time I'm on the computer. <laughs> so, yeah, or reading. Okay. <laughs> I, I know many people who've done that operation and it's very successful and it's very, how to say, good. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm good. happy that we, people can do that by some AI things. <laughs> Is it, that's right. Yes, dear. And I'm just planning this. Uh, uh, in Georgia already, we have uh, uh, really good, uh, uh, let's say, the places, um, the, the so-called hospitals. Yes, we are there doing this. So I'm just uh, planning to use it. And I just gave the example from uh, like our everyday maybe life. Yes. Um, so we can use them. That's why, again, I would like to concentrate my ideas on it. We can use them or 
the, another maybe <laughs> situation with going to be in the future, or we will be like uh, against them uh, if it will be so sophisticated that it will be against human beings. But but it's again the future. No one else what will be. But again, on the basis of Elon Musk uh, conversation on one video, he's saying that our future won't be so easier for the mankind. But but uh, but nowadays we have to see can we have to concentrate how to use them, not how to be like a, a slave of the artificial intelligence. Yeah, is that right? And uh, I hope that it won't be the situation that we will become the subordinates of artificial intelligence. Like, okay, dears, maybe the most important part I would like to say all about what I'm just speaking now, it's given also in our slides, and I hope it will be interesting for you. But before we say goodbye, maybe I'm just trying, trying, like begging the time is from you. I just want to mention three basic, three basic, uh, let's say, three basic components of artificial intelligence. The first one is a machine learning. The next one is a neural networks, and the last one is a deep learning. Uh, yeah. and now I just give some, uh, let's say, definitions of this one, and after that, uh, conclusions. Okay, and, uh, I will say goodbye. Okay, so machine learning is an application of an artificial intelligence that provides the system the ability to automatically learn and improve from experience without being explicitly programmed. So what it means, it means that uh, without even our inter uh, interference, yes, they will just uh, improve themselves. So it means how we are just doing uh, on our brain, we are getting information as an input, we are getting knowledge as an input, then on the base of this knowledge, we are just uh, constructing the, uh, let's say, ideas and so on and so on. So machine learning is trying to uh, simulate the human brain's processes. Okay, what about the neural network? It mimics also the way the human brain operates. So what we have already said is, uh, when we just define the meaning of the artificial intelligence, we define the same way as a branch of, uh, it's a branch of computer science, which aims at creating the machines, intelligent machines. So what kind of intelligence? They are trying to simulate say, our human intelligence. Okay, dear, it, it, it is for the deep learning. This is a class of machine learning algorithms and they use multiple layers to progressively extract higher level features from the raw input from, for example, like an image, for example, processing. Yes, lower layers may identify ages and while higher layers may identify the concepts relevant to the human such as digits or uh, letters or faces. So yes, it's much more maybe computer science like uh, matters. Uh, it's not, again, I'll repeat it. Our course is not oriented uh, how to make programs or something like this. It's not our field. It's uh, we are just learning in the context of business administration, how to use for us, uh, not how to write the programs of the computer. Yeah, is that right? But I hope anyway, it will be really interesting because mostly if you want to be very successful in this life, it's already inevitable uh, and we have to use artificial intelligence to be successful. And the last, at last, <laughs> I promise it will be the last, uh, at last I just want to uh, speak about the functions, functions of the AI, functions of the artificial intelligence. I just count them uh, and this is learning. What we have already said, say, uh, the, uh, the scientists are trying to be constructing and IT specialists are trying to, to be constructed as a way to uh, use the reasoning and learning as we can, as humans can. So the first one is the learning. The second one is, for example, understanding, reasoning, what I have already mentioned, uh, like a deductive and deductive method. Maybe it, it, you remember that from Sherlock Holmes, yes, deductive and deductive methods. If it's, of course, it's, if it's book, this book is uh, like your favorite one. I love detectives and uh, yeah, maybe a hundred times already. I just read the Sherlock Holmes, uh, interacting and so on. Okay, dear, now let's make a little bit conclusion, uh, but um, uh, maybe the most important before uh, our last words, I would like to say about the about the inception of artificial intelligence as a discipline. Uh, it uh, happened in the Middle Ages of the 20s, uh, so the previous century. Uh, so it's um, it's related to the man of John McCarthy, who started who just started thinking about this, how to use this, and how to work as artificial intelligence machines. So this workshop was held at Dartmouth in the summer of 1956, and artificial intelligence as an academic discipline to call. So this is an official like a period of inception and start of the artificial intelligence as a, as a, as a discipline. And you know, by the way, it's really, uh, really uh, one of the course which on demand all over the world, or all the universities maybe all over the world, uh, is uh, all of us really, we understand, we realize the most important thing, it's impossible nowadays to be successful in business and not to use artificial intelligence. And to ask the question why, because all the companies which uh, like don't be concentrated on how to use and in which field to use, of course, they will be like laggards and their operations will be obsolete. And so what it means, it means that maybe after some time they will be out of the market. So if you want to maintain ourselves on the market 
as a companies and organizations. If you want to be successful there, and if you want to just say our words there, uh, it's inevitable process. It's inevitable, and we have to use artificial intelligence for our company success. So, dears, from the next week, we will have it was just introductory part. What about these and the definition and so on? What we are just trying our best, is it right? Not always introducing ourselves. Okay, from the next lecture, we will have the particular issue. And the most important, what I'm just really very happy, we will have the seminars. And not only Katie will speak, like we will have really interesting cases about uh, Facebook and Google and the others, how they are using artificial intelligence. You know, dear, it's one thing only to just speak uh, it's like an overall way, yeah, what is it, how important, like today we are speaking. But the most important is to concentrate it on the real particular issues, particular cases where they are using artificial intelligence to give us a clue how to use it for our company as well for the future is it right so that's why as a minimum as two cases i promise we will have for each seminar for each meeting and as well not only katie really successful people like elon musk barry casper and the others will we will have also their lectures so-called video lectures as i have already promised okay dear thank you so much thank you so much i know that i just maybe now let us all your time <laughs> thank you so much that you're thank listening you thank you are. professor but <laughs> professor can i ask you a question Okay, of course, dear. Sorry, can you give us like a, a group, like a Facebook or something we can find? Amazing. Yeah, 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 wonderful. It's a good proposal, dear. You can find me as a Kathy Ominishvili, okay, on Facebook. I will create the groups here and I will upload all the necessary stuff materials here. It's better, it's, it's good for you. I can create it right now. You all, right now. <laughs> oh, fine, fine, fine. So, dear, please add me a selfie, okay? Okay, Buka, okay. Send me. okay. Dears, I'm very happy. You know, the, I really feel motivation. Thank you so much for attending my class. I hope it was interesting for you, and I will try my best, I promise, to have much more activities like an interesting ones. Okay, some no words problem. from your side as well. It's, uh, uh, I'm really interested in what you think about this, and uh, uh, it will be interesting for you, and please be very sincere. Okay, listen to you, dears. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Okay, dear Guka, what do you think? Will it be interesting for you? It's gonna be a hell of a ride for me because I like the subject. I like the professor because you're amazing. <laughs> Your English Thank is amazing. You. Thank As a person, you. you're a good person in us. And I'm happy. I'm happy to oh, have you. I'm full of motivation now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, dear. Thank you so much. Uh, and I like you too, as well, so dear. <laughs> Thank you. And I'm really full of motivation. I'm really full of like and happiness because, frankly speaking, dear, I don't live first lectures is my work. Frankly speaking, it's not like an only work for me, as I have already said. I'm different activities. So for me, lectures is like a, uh, like a wonderful way to improve myself and uh, help my friends. I just perceive as a friend uh, to just deliver some kind of valuable information. Thank you so much. So we will meet Thank next you. week uh, with much more information and activities. Goodbye and all the best. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Thank dear. you so much. Have bye a nice bye. day and have a nice week. Bye. Goodbye. Yeah.